Good morning. I'm Dr. Robert, and on this edition of Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, we're going to talk about why our sense organs are engineered to provide us with an image of reality that is, in fact, very far away from actual reality, whatever actual reality actually means. And I'm inspired to do this this morning because I'm speaking to you from the beautiful island of Maui, uh, out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I believe you can see behind me the wide Pacific Ocean, which is currently kind of Pacific, uh, which it is not always, of course. Um, we have the five elements, the Pancha Mahabhuta, earth, water, fire, air, and space. As you can see behind me, there's a mountain representing earth. There's the water. There's the sun in the sky, which is representing fire. There's the air gently blowing the palm fronds around. We're in sitting in space. All of these things are constructs to assist us, not just as human beings, but as all living beings, to assist us to interact with the environment in a way that is beneficial to us. And what is beneficial to us is not to be able to perceive the entire environment at all times, which would overwhelm us with data. It's to be able to interpret what is important to us in the environment. Um, the Panchamahabhuta, the five great elements, are the densifications of what are sometimes translated as subtle elements. Uh, the five tanmatras. The word tanmatra, though, is very pregnant, as it were, with meaning. Tan means that, and matra means a portion. So the tanmatras are portions of reality that have been taken over by our sense organs for the purpose of sampling what's outside so we can have an idea of what's going on. Our ears hear from approximately 20 hertz, 20 cycles per second, up to about 20,000 hertz. But this is an extremely tiny sample, a tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, which goes from zero hertz up to many gigahertz or terahertz or uh, petahertz. And it is, in my opinion at least, noteworthy that our eyes uh, are also seeing a very small portion of that electromagnetic spectrum. In, that, in, in the case of the eyes, they're seeing uh, in the terahertz range. The, the wavelength is much smaller. It's from expressed in nanometers, 400 to 700-ish nanometers. Whereas the waves that we're hearing, 20, a 20 hertz wave, for example, is 15 to 17 meters long. So we're, we, we have a, a very extremely large spectrum of possible things that we could see and hear, but we're only sampling a small amount of that spectrum because what we're interested in is communicating with us in those tiny portions of the spectrum, which is why they're called tanmatras. Um, there is reason to believe that a similar process of winnowing down has happened with the other senses as well. And an important reason why this is the case, why we're sampling these things, is so that we do not overload our processing capabilities with information. It's been estimated that we take in 11 million bits of information every second, 10 million through the eyes, 1 million through the skin, and um, maybe 100,000 through the ears, 10,000 through the nose, only 1,000 through the tongue. But of that 11 million bits of information, we can actually only process about 50 bits per second. So it's like the giant JPEG effect of, con of, of condensing down the information, reducing it so that it still is producing important and useful information in our direction, 
but only taking representation, a representation of what that real reality is. This is Dr. Robert saying, aloha.